Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about the stack implementation using Java. Now when you say a stack, basically a stack is a class inside Java. So if I simply say control space, it belongs to a package java.util. So you can use all the features of a stack here. But then why to use an inbuilt class when you can create your own? So I don't want to use the stack class which is inbuilt, I want to create my own class. So what I will do, I will right click here on the package, I would say new and I want to create my own class and that class name is called a stack. So I have my own class here and here I will create object of stack, I will say stack nums equal to new stack. Now in this stack object or the nums object, I want to perform certain operations. So when I say uh, nums dot push I want to push the element I can specify any value here if I say 15 so the first element should be 15 and then again I can push multiple elements and then I, I maybe I want to pop element which is taking out the element from the stack or maybe I want to fetch element so when I say stack basically it has certain features right as we discussed in the theory session we can use push uh, we can use pop on we can use pip so we'll be using we'll be working on these methods so let's start with the first one which is push so in, if you can see in our stack, we don't have any method yet. So let's create certain methods. So the first method is push. Now to implement push, what I will do is I will say public void push. Now since we are adding the value, we are not expecting any value. So let's say push data. So we, we have to send the data and it will add data there. So now you can see if I go back, now you can push the element and there's no error. But then what you will do with the push? To make it work, first of all, we need to create an array, right? So we have to create an array and we have to also specify the size of the array. So let's say if I say we have an array here and initially we'll take an array of five elements so that if you can work on five elements, you can work with any number of elements. So let's say if I have the first one, then the second one, then the third one and fourth and fifth. So we have these five elements here. Index number will be zero, one, two, three and four. Now, if you want to add the first element as we are doing it here, we are passing 15, right? So that 15 will go to the uh, go to element 0. So somewhere here, we'll be having that value which is 15. But then we don't have array yet. So even before you push the element, you need to create that array. So let's do that. I would say int and we'll say stack equal to or stack. It's an array basically. So we'll say stack equal to new int and the size of int is 5. You can make it dynamic. You can you can take the input from the user what array size you want. But time will let's specify by by ourselves so we are we have created the array and now we can push the element but question arise where so we'll say okay you have when you say push you will assign the value to the address location zero okay so that makes sense we can simply say zero right here right so we can say stack of zero and you can assign the value whatever whatever data is coming it's so easy you can that value which is 15 will be assigned to the index value zero it is that simple but here's a twist the twist is, what if I if I want to add one more element? So if I say nums, so if I push another element here, we'll say let's I want to pass maybe eight. Now we we are passing two elements, right? We got we got fifteen and we got eight. Now what will happen is the moment you pass eight here, the eight will be the value eight will be assigned to zero again with the zero location. That's not what we want because if you if you if you run this code. The value 15 will, re will be replaced by 8. We don't want that. I want to assign value to 1. That means we need to count it. We have to use, we, we need to use a variable which will count the number. And maybe I will use a variable here which is called as top. And the initial value of top would be let's say 0. We can sp simply specify top here. Right. So instead of using 0, we can say top. Okay. Now when the first element getting inserted. So when you insert 15, that 15 will be inserted here at, this, at the top location 0. Right, so we got 15 here. Now if I send 8, oh 8 is also the, the value of top is still 0. That means after doing this thing, we have to you have to simply say plus plus. So every time you push an element, you just need to increment the value of top. So that when you pass 8 now, 8 will be assigned to index value 1 because when you pass 8, the value of top at that point is 8. So yeah, so that is how you push the element in the in the stack. Okay, now next point would be how will you fetch the element? Maybe I want to pop the element. Or even before, let, let's push all the element and let's say I want to print it. I, I want to print the stack. So after pushing two or three values, let me just push one more. We have a stack of size five. In that, let's say we have only uh, three values. Let's say this is 15, 8, and 10. I want to print the entire stack. So I will say nums.show. So it should show the entire stack. But the problem is we don't have show method in the stack. So let's let's go there 
and say hey i want a show method here which will print the entire stack now question is how do you print the entire stack it's very simple actually you can take a loop enhance for loop here and you can say int n colon tag that's an array and you can print each value and you can print that value with a space so i will say n and then i will print a space so that you know when you print all the value they should be separated with a with a space sounds cool let's go back and what do you think will it work let's try so i will right click here and we'll say run as java application and it worked can you see that we got 15 8 and 10 and we got 0 0 so yes it is working so stack is working when you say push but how about pop i want to remove the elements now uh is it simple let's try so when I say pop, I will simply say public. Now pop will also fetch the value. So it will, it, it will remove the value from the stack and it will also fetch the value. So I would say int pop and this will not take any parameter. Now how will you fetch the value? Now temporary we can say int data is equal to, okay, first of all, let's declare that. How do you fetch a data? It's simple, right? We can say data equal to, the data is coming from stack. Now, the, the property of stack is if you have three elements, as we defined here, we have three elements, right? We have 15, 8, and 10. Now, when you use pop, what do you think? Which element you will be getting? And by default, the value of 4 and 3 is 0 because that's how array works in Java. The point here is when I say pop, which value I will get? So, it is done with the help of top. So, we have a top variable here. And whatever value we have for top, you will be fetching that value because you will always get last in first out. So, the last element which you have added is 10. So the top ref referring to 10 now, this location. So it will give you 10. And the way you do that is by simply saying, you will say stack and you will say top. Now you will get that data, quite simple, right? Okay, now there we have to do one more thing. Now, once you say you are removing this 10, we will be making it zero. So I will, remo I will make this element as zero. And how do we do that? It's very simple. Let's go back here and say stack of top is equal to zero so we are making it zero so that again you can make it zero you can make it negative value for whatever you want and then at the end we can say return data i hope it will work now so let's run this code and you can see we got oh we have not we are not saying pop so we'll say nums dot pop now it will delete the last data run and you can oh not working what's wrong what went wrong here okay so we are saying top top oh okay so we have to do one more thing see as you can see here when i say push the top value so when i say push first time it the top value become one second time top value becomes two third time top the top value becomes three that means it is referring to this value we need to do minus minus we have to decrement the top before using it so we'll say top minus minus is it let's try so i will oh i'm not even printing pop value so whatever pop value i'm getting i should be printing it right so i would say system.out.println i hope this will work but on this code oh it worked now it worked you can see that we are removing the value for 10 from the stack and you got zero here cool right so that's how you use push and pop now what else we can do we can also implement peak here and how do we do that so peak is very simple peak is almost same as pop the only thing is in peak you don't delete the element so i'll paste it here and i will say this is peak okay you will not do minus minus because if you do minus minus it will it will decrement the value but while you're fetching you will be fetching the minus one of it so we'll say minus one and you will not delete the element that's what you will be doing that's it that's peak for you after adding the after adding value eight i will peak i would say nums dot peak if i run this code now you can see we got eight so the last value which i have inserted is eight here and then i'm pushing 10 then i'm popping 10 and you can see that's why in the in the stack we don't have 10. simple this is how you use push peak and pop what else we can do here now we can implement some certain other methods as well example you can get a size of the stack you can get uh you can you can make this dynamic instead of saying five whatever size defined by the user or very dynamic which is every time you add the element even if the initial size is five you can you can change it so you can you can increase the size on the go now how do you do that that we'll see in the upcoming videos i hope you enjoyed this session on stack how do we implement stack and it's quite simple right so let me know in the comment section your thoughts and do click on like button if you liked it thank you so much for watching everyone